Pirate Radio. My son has, uh, he rather likes Minecraft, and we've been using just a laptop that we let him borrow and put in his room sometimes. And he also likes to sometimes have a bit of music at bedtime. Now, really, uh, a laptop isn't the best way to, read, to listen to music, especially when the temptation for this little guy is uh, rather great for him to go and start playing games on it. Well, me and my wife decided it was time to get him a music box. So I did. And this music box is the Pirate Radio from Pi Maroney. So let's open it, put it together, get it working. I think it would be more fun to build one than to buy one. So the first thing you might notice about this is the uh, lovely Pimeroni Nyan themed bag. Pimeroni logo up there as well. I'd love to find out what that Japanese says. So we have a memory card, uh, preloaded with noobs. I've got uh, an 8 gig card. A to boot the Pi and B to put a few uh, bits of music on there for him. Raspberry Pi power supply. And I think this is the device. Oh, pirate radio. A Raspberry Pi Zero project kit. Solder, assemble and code this wireless digital audio player. Stream your favourite tunes from your device or directly from the internet. Awesome. And what have we got on the back here? Learn.pimeroni.com pirate radio. So I presume that's going to be instructions. Contents, Pi Zero, Pimeroni, Fat Beat DAC. Sweet. Three watt speaker, a mini HDMI to HDMI adapter, which I'm probably um, not going to need because I'm going to see if I can do it all over OTG or serial or something. Pirate radio stands and the all important stickers. Code library and tutorials online. Oh, and made in the UK by Pimeroni, so parts made in Sheffield and probably in South Wales. And look, we also get a pirate brand plastic loot box, which I suppose once I'm done with this, I can use for my other project. Awesome. We have the Fat Beat DAC with the amp, a VU meter, and also six buttons. That's gonna require me to solder this uh, header on, Raspberry Pi 0W I believe. It's also going to require me to solder some headers on, there's a header here to put on that. Got a nice tiny little micro USB cable, OTG USB cable, speaker wires, nicely tinned and finished, we like that. Micro HDMI adapter, bunch of standoffs to assemble the thing with. Speaker, now the speaker is okay, already in this little case here so you've got a blue case there i wonder if we want to pull off the uh, backing and although it's kind of shipped this way we're going to want to turn that around so you can see this lovely decoration here the enclosure there i'm going to use the plastic end of my knife and a pimeroni stickers that's a new set i've not had a set like that oh they see me scrolling these are designed to go on the device first so i suspect my son whose bedroom this is for will want to help me put the stickers upon it. So there's another Raspberry Pi Zero and a header to step in it. There is our fat beat. So we have a bunch of buttons on this side. VU's on that side. We've got a switch here. Okay, this switch looks like it goes between stereo and mono outputs. I'm expecting mono here. If the VU meters are going to be facing outwards, almost certainly going to be soldering the header in this way. There's your square peg. Guess it's got to go that way with these facing up there. I think Jonathan saw this coming because if you've seen his previous movies where he's made robots, he went, oh no, not more backing. And the first part of this is acrylic laser cut backing. I can't help but wondering while seeing this in blue, if it comes in other colours. First, we need to attach our legs to this. So there'll be one with a large circular hole. Uh, that'll be this one. And you need the small layer blue leg retainer pieces, which must be these ones. So the curved corners should match with the curves of the radio itself. This can go one way or the other. I'm kind of thinking this, two curved cutouts should face inward and the speaker should fit nicely in the gap. Legs should slot into the blue back layer, oh I see, this way up. 
Ah, and then you put this in like this, and then that fits around there. So push that through that gap and then slot that up, and it retains the leg. Well, we'll call it the leg retainer. And then we need those nylon bolts. Okay, let's put both sides in because that's what they have suggested in their uh, tutorial. Once bolting in, we actually trim off the uh, the ends of these nylon bolts. I suppose that's one good advan advantage of using nylon as opposed to metal ones is that you can trim them. Okay, then we've got the M3 nuts. Okay, we'll trim those off. Sit the other blue piece, the middle layer, so that the speaker grill lines up. Oh, and those screws go through there, nice. Put the frosted plate on top there so the VU meter lines up. The four nuts and bolts hold the speaker will hold all the layers together. Speaker and place it in the four bolts. Is there any orientation to where we want the cable to be? Wires coming out of the bottom of the radio, okay. Pop your fat beat onto the four bolts. Connector facing the speaker. Ah, so they're interestingly not going to secure the pie. They're just going to use the strength of the header. If you, uh, they start to bend a little bit. Now this is also a full header, whereas the uh, Picon Zero came with uh, kind of a half length header. And potentially one way I could fix the uh, Picon Zero hanging loose there is to put a full length header on it. Full depth, I suppose, actually. Make sure it's switched to the side of the speaker, a single speaker icon, which I kind of preempted earlier. Okay, push it in gently. Right, we should be able to just pop the zero by zero on it now then. Let's just have a look at how that looks now then. Put some little tiny buttons here. And they are a little bit on the fiddly side. So now it's all about the software. So I'm looking at the VLC radio project. There's some code right here. Let's have a quick look at what's in this code before we go with it. From the Pi Moroni crew under the MIT license. So lots and lots of options. Wow, this is a big old bash file. And it looks like it runs and requires you to interact with it manually. So what I'm going to want to do, I'm going to probably, because I want to do this without a keyboard, either set up OTG on that Pi or, and I realise there's a bit of a golden hammer moment because everything looks like a screw, attempt to use Pi Bakery. Confirm main start. Okay, there's a nice big comment. Force equals Y, UART, uh, SPI, I2C, I2S, so we want a lot. Confirm force equals yes for everything. So what uses of confirm are there? Confirm expand your file system, yeah. Test your system now, wish to continue, yeah. And uh, I guess we could do force equals y. Oh, we can do that here. Force equals minus y. So we can do VLC radio minus y. So we could actually build our Pi Bakery script around, turning on OTG, giving it a host name like pirate radio.local or John's pirate radio.local, setting up Wi Fi, and off we go running this script afterwards. Let's do that then. Fire up Pi Bakery on first boot. We need a network. We need Ethernet with static IP, the password, hostname. We'll download that file, and then we'll run this command. Hostname to John Radio. We have the file over here, and we'll say I'll save that to VLC Radio. Bash this minus Y as user root. Ah, look, in, uh, so in the automatic install, it won't even try the reboot, it'll just finish up. So, can I export this? Pi is booting. Now we try to test it. So I've pinged johnradio.local and it has got an IP address. John, we can hit it with putty. We'll go in as Pi. It's not downloaded the goodies. Where is it? Did we get that URL wrong? Get.pymaroni.com. Really? Now, let me examine that. So, that's a network issue. So we have our local, our USB 0. Where is the Wi-Fi? Okay, well that'll explain that. Well, there's your problem. That is not a Raspberry Pi 0W. That's a Raspberry Pi 0 V1.3. No! It's a, maybe it's a mispackaging because in theory this should contain a Raspberry Pi Zero W. 
and I'd assumed up to this point and that's what I had. In an attempt to try and fix this for now, I will see if I can disable OTG. So I can temporarily, for this case, use a, what, a USB Wi-Fi jobby. Well, we've got sound from it. Uh, we've got a Wi-Fi dongle for now until I get a zero, Pi Zero W running. And uh, this is using the demo song to demonstrate it works. So the only thing left now is to go and choose the music I want to play on it. And I'll be replacing this Pi with a Pi Zero W. If you've enjoyed watching me build the pirate radio and you'd like to see me build other kits and build robots, please give me a subscribe to see more. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it and leave some comments below to say what I could do better. And I uh, hope to see you next time. Uh, keep on making, keep on learning, keep on blowing stuff up and breaking it if that's what your thing is. And uh, see you next time.